a penny for your thoughts. This idiom is a way of asking someone what they are thinking. The holidays have just begun, and Sam, Ray, and Sid are celebrating. They discuss their holiday plans while having pizza. Soon Ray got lost in his thoughts about the cruise that he would be taking with his parents. His friends realized that Ray was not participating in the conversation, but was thinking of something else. Seeing this, Sid offered Ray a penny for his thoughts. A penny for your thoughts. This idiom is a way of asking someone what they are thinking. Hold your horse. It means have patience. Tom was an impatient boy. He could not sit still for a moment and went out to play in the rain, got wet, and fell ill. So the next time he tried to run into the rain to play, his mother asked him to hold his horse and wait for the rain to stop before he went out. Hold your horse. It means have patience. Back to the drawing board. It is a way of saying that an attempt has failed and it's time to start all over. There was once a little pig. He was very smart and never gave up things just because he was unable to accomplish the task. So after many failed attempts at building a strong house, the little pig realized that it was time to go back to the drawing board and start afresh. Back to the drawing board. It is a way of saying that an attempt has failed and it's time to start all over. Against the clock. The meaning of this idiom is doing something in a rushed or short time. Raj had been unwell for some days and could not attend school. So he fell behind in his work and studies. Now his exams were nearing and he had to work against the clock to catch up on the work that he had missed. Against the clock. The meaning of this idiom is doing something in a rushed or short time. Hit the sack. The meaning is to go to bed very tired. Little Jack worked hard all day long. He looked after the cattle, got water from the well, and picked up fruits for dinner. Thus, by evening, Jack would get so tired that he would hit the sack soon after dinner. Hit the sack. The meaning is to go to bed very tired. Spade up. It means to turn over the soil in a garden plot for planting purpose. Lisa was cooking food when Henry came into the kitchen. She had a lot of work to do before she could tend to the kitchen garden which needed immediate attention. As she was busy with work, she asked Henry to spade up the kitchen garden. Spade up. It means to turn over the soil in a garden plot 
for planting purpose. Be glad to see the back of. This implies happiness when a person leaves the room. Jack had a lot of friends and he would play with them every day. But when a discussion on any topic would start, all of them would be glad to see the back of him. This was because he spoke a lot and would never give others a chance to talk or express their opinion. Be glad to see the back of. This implies happiness when a person leaves the room. New kid on the block. The idiom indicates someone who is new to a group or place. Mary had just moved into a new neighborhood. She was worried about making friends as she was a shy girl. But the children around the house went out of their way to make the new kid on the block feel comfortable and welcome. New kid on the block. The idiom indicates someone who is new to a group or place. A breath of fresh air. It means something that is new and refreshing. Sophia and Harry lived and worked in a big city because of which they did not have much time to relax and spend outdoors. Taking a vacation was like a breath of fresh air to them. A breath of fresh air. It means something that is new and refreshing. Chicken scratch. It means a handwriting that is cramped or illegible. A teacher gave her class a test. All students wrote their answers in the answer book and handed it back to the teacher. She called each student to the table and corrected the answers in front of them. When she came to Jessica's paper, she found it very difficult to read and called it chicken scratch. Chicken scratch. It means a handwriting that is cramped or illegible. Call it a day. It's a way of saying that the work for the day has been completed. A group of children were enjoying themselves playing the whole day. Finally, as it began to get dark and grew very late, they decided to call it a day and go back home. Call it a day. It's a way of saying that the work for the day has been completed. On pins and needles. This meaning of this idiom is being anxious or nervous in anticipation. Sam's parents had promised him a special gift if he got good grades. Now his parents had gone to his school to collect his grades. He was on pins and needles the whole morning, waiting for his parents to return with his report. On pins and needles. This meaning of this idiom is being anxious or nervous in anticipation. At the drop of a hat. This means to do something without any hesitation, instantly. Mary and her friends loved to play together every day. But since they all had to study, they had little time to do so. It was only during vacations that they had a lot of time to play and have fun together. Thus, they organized parties and picnics at the drop of a hat in order to have fun. 
at the drop of a hat. This means to do something without any hesitation, instantly. Lend an ear. It means to sympathize with someone by patiently listening to their problems. In the court of Emperor Akbar, there was a very able and intelligent minister by the name of Birbal. Birbal was known to be kind and considerate about the problems of those around him. He did not only lend an ear to the problems, but also tried to find a solution to it as well. Lend an ear. It means to sympathize with someone by patiently listening to their problems. Quiet as a mouse. The meaning of this idiom is to keep silent or stay without a sound. The class was making a lot of noise during a free period. But after being scolded by the teacher and being threatened with punishment, the student sat as quiet as a mouse. Quiet as a mouse. The meaning of this idiom is to keep silent or stay without a sound. Keep under wraps. The meaning of this idiom is to guard a secret carefully. Emma had a lot of friends. But for the past few days, they were ignoring her and talking behind her back. She felt very bad and decided to ignore them for a while. What she did not know was that her friends were trying to keep under wraps her surprise birthday party. Keep under wraps. The meaning of this idiom is to guard a secret carefully. Be dead to the world. The idiom means to be in deep sleep. Jack is fast asleep. His sister Minnie is standing near his bed looking at the clock. She wakes him up and tells him that she was trying to wake him up for a very long time, but he had been dead to the world. Be dead to the world. The idiom means to be in deep sleep. Cut corners. The meaning of this idiom is to finish a job the cheapest and the quickest way. Bill wanted to finish building his house before winter, and he also wanted to avoid unnecessary costs. He thought of ways to save money and time. At last, he cut corners by reducing expensive fixtures in the house. Cut corners. The meaning of this idiom is to finish a job the cheapest and the quickest way. South Pop. It means a person who is left-handed. Mary had a lot of friends, and she was popular in class. But she was also the only left-handed student in class, so her friends would sometimes call her a Southpaw. Southpaw, it means a person who is left-handed. Bag of bones. The idiom means somebody who is extremely thin. 
Robin and Bob had a friend, Jack, who loved to eat food and was very fat when he was young. But when they met him some years later, they were so surprised to see him so thin that they called him a bag of bones. Bag of bones. The idiom means somebody who is extremely thin. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. It means that distance makes us realize the absence of others. John was a very spoiled child. He did not listen to his parents or teachers. He also troubled his friends a lot. But a year in boarding school, away from home and friends, changed his attitude. Thus, we can say that absence makes the heart grow fonder. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. It means that distance makes us realize the absence of others. Add insult to injury. The idiom means to make a horrid situation worse. Jane told Eric about how upset and hurt she felt about her dog, who had gone missing. Eric laughed at her and told her that her dog was probably a lot happier that she was not around. Their teacher, Caroline, cut him short and told him it was not nice of him to add insult to injury when Jane was feeling so upset. Add insult to injury. The idiom means to make a horrid situation worse. The best of both worlds. The idiom means to enjoy the advantages of two different things. Leon loved sports and he was also good at it. He loved singing and playing music just as much. He had the best of both the worlds as he was a star player in the school's sports team and a member in his school's musical band. The best of both worlds. The idiom means to enjoy the advantages of two different things. Face your demons. It means that one must confront or fight their fears. Once, Sam was alone at home for the entire night as his parents had to go out of town for work. As he was sitting and studying late at night, he heard a knock on the door. Out of fear, he decided to ignore it. But when the knock continued, he decided to face his demons and check who it was and was surprised to find a lost puppy looking for shelter. Face your demons. It means that one must confront or fight their fears. No love lost. The idiom means there is a strong dislike between two people. There were two mice, Bob and Mac, living in the woods. They did not like each other. Once, when Bob lost all the food he stored in his burrow, he blamed Mac of stealing it. They fought all day long. There was no love lost between them. No love lost. The idiom means there is a strong dislike between two people. Liked it? Tell us what you liked about it. Yes, remember to subscribe.